Hello guys, and welcome to next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. In today's episode, I am planning on heading to the next city, and possibly taking on the next gym. So, this is kind of how the team's looking at right now. We've got ourselves here, one of the new members of the team, Devin, who's at level 5. His ability is inner focus, so he can't be flinched, which will be really handy. Next, we got ourselves Enter here, with the Cloud 9 ability, unaffected by weather. Then, we've got ourselves Buddy, who is still my buddy, even though we never seen him last episode. Barely. Basically, if he gets poisoned, I can switch him out and we're all good. Now, we have Bobby, with the unaware ability. So, any abilities he tries to change is unaffected. And we got Polly, who has Synchronize. So, you do anything bad to Polly, he'll do something bad to you. And last but not least, the mascot of the channel, Kingdom, who has Swift, Sw uh, Swift Swim. He's able to go faster in the rain. Also, he's a fish, so I guess that makes sense. So, the game plan for today, like I mentioned last episode, I'm going to focus on training Devin, Enter, and Bobby. Maybe Buddy a bit. These two, I'll leave for a later episode. Maybe a later training ground. Montas, I'm not sure. Well, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, if I remember correctly, we're over here, and there are a few people we had to battle still. I think we already battled this guy to get the item, yep. Yeah. You want a trainer? You are a trainer. Oh, okay. I battled you by mistake. And I battled you because I had no idea you were a trainer. You are a trainer, though. So, for the Pokeball, I challenge you. You got a gem badge already? Okay, let's see how strong you are, then. So, if you send out a side, okay? Go Devin. What kind of attack do you have? Ooh, yeah, let's confuse you. Ow. Okay, that hurt a lot, actually. Whoa, got the confusion. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not risking this. I'm gonna be switching them out for a new Pokemon. Okay, Devin, come on back. Uh, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. We can go to Buddy. Come back. Go, Buddy. Wow. This side like, didn't hit himself once yet. Absurd. Give me thy power. Yes. So in the last episode, uh, my camera did decide I want to act up a little bit again. The main reason for that is because uh, I was actually keeping an eye on a few pets for one of my friends. And, uh, the cat decided to be a genius, come out of nowhere, and knock over my stand. So, I kind of had to improvise from there. So, hopefully the episode still turned out okay. Uh, you guys didn't mind the whole, uh, twist of the camera. So, uh, essentially... I'm going to try my best to avoid what happened last time. Well, one of the playthroughs I had in here anyways. I was doing good. I kept losing a lot of Pokemon though. But with all the encounters I kept getting to. 
Ooh, um... It'll be fine. I can make it to the next city by then. Or maybe I'll challenge the uh, trainer and come back. I challenge ya. Oh, hi. Ooh, is that a rock smash? Oh, heck yeah! I don't care, I'm gonna use Rock Smash right away. Now granted, Rock Smash isn't very powerful. But like I was trying to mention before, um... The next gym leader... Is a Rock type user. And, uh, well... The mistakes I made in the last episodes... Was the fact that, um... I didn't really know what the level was for the gym leader, so I underestimated him. I didn't really do a grinding montage before then. And, uh... I didn't know it was going to be rock types either. I, basically, I didn't do my research. And because of that, uh... I got my butt kicked. Alright, so my game plan for now is going to be trying to confuse the bird. And then I'm going to switch out to another Pokemon to deal with it. I would try and attack using Leech Life, get more experience. The only problem is the fact that, uh, it's a flying type, so my bug move won't be really effective against it. I'm gonna go for Water Gun, just in case. Oh, heck yeah. Come on. Ah. I was hoping he hit himself, knocked himself out anyways. Well, let's go for Scratch. There we go. Will this equal two level ups? Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Ooh, a Shinx. Um, I'm going to Bobby for this one. Kiaku. Wow, level 7 and he's doing half damage. That's pretty good, Bobby. Are you kidding me, Bobby? I praise you, and then you leave him with one HP. What is this? It's okay, though. He still got him. I just realized Bobby's a female. Maybe if I, uh, maybe if I have a chance, there's a column Bobette. <laughs> That's a little bit goofy, but maybe. Yeah, I'll just leave it at Bobby. Why not? So this one here should be the last trainer before I make it to freedom. You're Sonic. You're directing. Increase all your defense as you want. You keep hitting yourself in the face though, and that's not going to matter. So, uh, essentially I've been thinking about this plan for a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to try and go through with it. Granted, though, I'm not sure if I'm going to be really productive. But, uh, essentially the plan that I have, that I'm thinking of anyways, is, uh, with this series and the next series. Not, um, uh, not only am I going to go back and forth with it, but, uh, I'm also planning... Well, granted, if, uh... I have the time to. I'm planning on going back and forth, but every three days. So then, no matter what, the time will vary depending. So it won't be exactly on a specific time of day. But, uh, I'm gonna try and plan on having it. 
where every three days there'll be a new episode on the channel. Now granted, it won't be like Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, Sophie and Pokemon. It'll be Pokemon, Sophie, Pokemon, Sophie. So essentially, it's just going to go back and forth on the channel. And, uh, it'll be every three days. So at the bare minimum, you will be getting yourself, uh, two episodes every week. At least, I'm hoping that's kind of how the plan to work anyways. So, uh, let me know below if you guys want to on what you guys think about the plan anyways. And, uh, I'll do my best to respond to the comments if, uh, you guys would like to anyways. Alright, buddy, let's finish this side of golf. Got some delicious experience. Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? I almost made it to the exit, too. So, I believe if I'm not mistaken, well, when it comes to, uh, my last playthrough anyways, when I was doing some research, um, Bidoo evolves with high friendship, and I'm not sure if it's during the daytime, at a specific time. I'll have to double check that. Anyways, so, uh, with Buddy anyways, I'm going to try and find out exactly, well, exactly what times he evolves. And I'll try and level him up from there to get Buddy to evolve anyways. And then, I believe, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, after that, Roser Raid? Ends up evolving again if you give the Pokemon a stone part, probably. I don't know, uh, I'll do research again and find out what's happening from there. So, fun little fact about the last episode. Well, not last episode, sorry. Um, last playthrough I did? Uh, with. Within the team, I would always have Bobby. So I would always have a B Doof on the team. And uh, I would also always have a B Doof. So I would have B Doof and B Doof all the time on the team. But for B Doof, I would never be able to evolve it. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if it's because I'm not very friendly with Pokemon, or what the problem is, but... I could never evolve the Bidoo into a Roserade. I could just never make it. Oh yeah, look at the Kath money to flow. Uh... Oh jeez, I can only buy five. <laughs> I'm gonna try and save some money, but... If I can only buy five, well, dang. I'll be good with everything else. Uh, so... Within the four times I played the game, uh, I think I lost twice to the gym leader. Like, both times I played, I would lose to the gym leader. Uh, and then the other two times, I lost to other parts of the video anyways that uh, I can explain later on on when I lost anyways. Super Sonic. Man, Zubat is a lightweight, ain't he? Again though, I guess he does le learn Super Sonic, so yeah. I, th I guess that makes sense. Yes. 
water Ganon. Oh, I snap out of confusion and he used quick attack. Are you serious? I guess the Starly wants to be MVP caliber status. Too bad though that he can't handle a water gun. Oh, level 7 already. By the end of this, I think Devin might be able to actually make it to, uh... Level 8? No, wait, not level 8. Uh, level 10? That'd be pretty handy. But, uh... Yeah, no, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... After making it to the next city, I'm going to actually, uh... Start over-leveling my other guys. I'll go with Buddy, Enter, and Bobby. I'll over-level D3 right now. And then I'll focus on D3 later on in other episodes. Just so everything is good. Hello. Yeah, I don't want to go. Yeah, I see it. I'm gone. I wonder, though, what did this Pokemon have? Would it be the exact same stuff? Well, same stuff there. What about you, good sir? Whoa, wait, you got net balls? Ooh, that's gonna be handy. I'll come back. I'll come back. So I guess if we were to come up with random topics, uh, I'm actually a fan of the net, no wait, not netball, sorry. Uh, when it comes to my favorite Pokeball, I like using the Great Ball. I don't know why I like using the Great Ball. Maybe because it's great? By the way, that though, um, I just like the design of it in general. It's not too over the top like the Ultra Ball or Master Ball, but also has okay catching status. A lot better than the Pokeball anyways. And had a, and for no reason at all, I tend to catch a lot more, um, what was it? I tend to catch a lot more Pokemon using a Great Ball than anything else. Do one of you guys give me an item? Do you give me an item? Do you give me an item? I swear there's someone in here that gave you an item. You give me an item. Oh yes, I got the great ball! Something just told me there was... had to be an item in here. I guess I can use my gaming manual, not so I don't have to go into every single building. But I'm too lazy to, so yeah. Okay. So this one here is a new route, and there is an item on top. But with this new route here, there's also a route up here that you can't get to until you have a bike. And there'll be stronger Pokemon up here than in here. So because I'm happy with the team I have right now, I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, skip Route 207 for now. So this is gonna be a backup route. I'll be back on this trail later. I'm gonna leave it so I can catch stronger Pokemon though. And uh, with that though, I just realized there's no trainers up there. I'll have to head down here because there's gonna be a few trainers down here. I was hoping he gave me an item. He didn't. Aw, oh, Super Potion! That's gonna help out the gym fight a lot, actually. Whew! Well, I have an instant uh, full heal, technically. Well, not technically. Theoretically, I got a full heal. 
And there's two items up here. Heck yeah. A yellow sword? I can't do anything with that. And a dire hit. I think that didn't make increases critical hits. Um, granted though, I'm probably not going to use it in the battle. I'll just save it so you can sell it for a lot of money. But, uh, it's good to have backup anyways. Alright then, so this is essentially a new... Okay, who is guarding this Pokeball? And we've got ourselves a Geodude. Go buddy! Um... Well, I'm going to paralyze you first. There we go. This will make it a lot easier to catch. You okay? I don't have an electric type. I'm gonna go for the Absorb. I don't think it should knock out though. Um, it is a weak attack, but I am level 10. Oh, are you kidding? It was a one shot. It's not even a crit. It was a one shot. Ugh, I sleep on Bobby way too much. Bobby, come on! A new member would have been awesome. Well, at least I got a Pokeball that I don't actually need. Dang. What up? Ah, uh, okay, no, they're just telling me about Geodude. Well, the other guy is saying that there's going to be Pokemon trainers in here. Which is what I need. So, because I think the highest level is 16, it could actually be 14. I'll train my two, well, my grass and water type to 14 at the very minimum. Well, I guess if we get extremely lucky, I can get a rock uh, fighting type, which resists the rock type moves. But I'd have to get extremely lucky, and I want to save that route for later on. Ooh, this will help me get out of mine, actually. What's up with Pokemon and challenging me to battle before I can go ahead and challenge other people? Like, come on. Well, let's work with the same strategy. Paralyzation. Aw, oh, yeah. Now, because I'm super effective, and I knocked out a level 5 Geo dude at level 10, I'm gonna set up a growth. I'm not sure if one growth will knock out. There we go. Well, I was waiting to see. Well, I was waiting to get damage first, so. You know. Uh, at least then I don't have to worry about healing. So, one growth is a knockout. Okay, nice. Alright then, I challenge ya! Two Pokemon, eh? And he also has a Geodude. Level 6. Interesting. Well, let's go for the stunts bar again. And I missed. Out of all the Pokemon to miss on, you miss on the trainer battle. It's okay though, we can just use Dunge Bar again. Haha, <laughs> paralyzation. And he tackles me. Okay. Oops, job, buddy. So, this is me not using growth ability. Level 11, level 6. Wow, okay then. Yeah, buddy's going to make the gym fight a little easier, anyways. Hmm. I'll keep battling. Ooh, a level 8. Okay then. I get some paralyzation off. There we go. Haha, <laughs> not very effective. Let's see our. Uh, 
Oh, okay, understandable. Oh, you're lowering my defenses. No, that is not okay. Let's go ahead and increase my attack. Oh, paralyzation. Heck yeah. Stop lowering the attack, man. Well, defense. Oh, just about. Ooh, and I can get the uh, critical hits a lot easier. Too bad, though, just going to knock him out. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. I don't think he'll be left for two level ups. But I should give him to half? Ah, nope. Well, knocked him out. Oh, is that the gym leader? Hello! Okay, stand back and watch this! Using the hidden move, Roxmas! A boulder block in your way! Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they are out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay, thank you for the demonstration. Ah, oh, potion, heck yeah. Probably don't need the potion, but whatever works. I don't know if we should be telling a 10 year old kid this. What if I decide to tell your boss? Level 9 Geo Dude. Okay then. This one here could be a fight. Stun Spawn. Oh, I missed. Increase the defense at all you want, Geo Dude. I use special attack. They can go ahead and hit right to you. Watch this Geo dude have rollout. That would end up uh, not being very cool at all. So essentially, there's this old style meta strat that uh, not a lot of people knew about until Pokemon Stadium. And essentially, how it works is, if you use Rollout, it doesn't only increase your defense. I'm oh, sorry, not Rollout. Uh, if you use uh, Defense Curl, it doesn't only increase your defense, but it also um, increases the attack power of Rollout. So, it's not really a top-end strategy that people use in the Pokemon tournament. Oh, no, if I had an Onyx, that would have been awesome. Uh, but it's just a little interesting strategy you can use on your friends if you wanted to. They'll be looking at you like, Why are you using Defense Curl? But then you start using Rollout, you'll start seeing it in a heartbeat. Now essentially, we finally got to meet the gym leader after, I don't know how long it was, maybe five episodes? Well, six episodes if you count the beginning. Well, this one here is episode five. So, in the next episode, I shouldn't only be able to challenge the gym, I'll also be able to challenge the gym leader. So, the next uh, match should be interesting. Well, granted, if, uh, they don't end up being stronger than I hope, well, then I'm not hoping. Because if his strongest is level 16, then I'm going to be versing him with essentially a level 14 or 15 buddy. Oh, Mega Drain! That's actually stronger than Absorb, right? 
Absorb is 20. Mega Drain is 40. Whoa. Huh? You guys might be wondering why I'm not getting rid of Absorb for Mega Drain. Did you do the same thing? Well, I, I don't need Water Spark. If there's a fire type that they send out, I can just go into Psyduck. So, yeah. Are you kidding me? I don't have time to fight all of you. I wonder, will it start knock out a level 7 without a growth? It will! It will knock it out! Good job, buddy! Okay, I uh, got him at level 13. He's a good level. I'm gonna go ahead and send Enter out. And that's just in case I go into another one, two Pokemon battles. And then that way you can like train him up just a little bit before I get out of the mine. Nope, I made it out of mine. Sweet. Alright then, since I've gone ahead and did so, I am going to take a peek over here. Okay, well, my rival's gone. So I guess I was supposed to go and find him after all. But yeah, no. I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Yes, heal my Pokemon, please. There we go. I went ahead and bought potions already. Found some potions on the ground and got a super potion. So without further ado, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up the episode. So without further ado, remember to tackle that subscribe button, splash around the likes, and don't forget, it's okay to flail sometimes. <laughs>